This news came out a few days ago. So, um, I'm barely learning about this right now, guys. So, here it is. Uh, Pokemon Go allegedly rejected quality of life improvement ideas, says former Niantic employee. So, uh, there's a... I guess they rejected something that would improve the life uh, of other of players that may maybe make it more safer for the for you guys uh, especially those in very dangerous areas uh, they rejected some of those and uh, we got some news from uh, an, an employee right here the antic leadership allegedly rejects quality of life improvements to Pokemon Go despite being a great uh, workspace for Pokemon fans. Oh. Okay. Um, either he's talking about the Niantic or is he talking about like the game itself? A former Niantic employee has alleged that leadership in the company regularly rejected quality of life improvements in Pokemon Go. So they're talking about the game. Okay. I wonder what they rejected. That's the thing. What they rejected. Hopefully this person tells us what they rejected. The While the mobile game is still one of the most uh, popular in the iOS and Android stores. Its player base has grown frustrated. Grown frustrated that some important accessibility features are still missing Seven years after its launch. I don't know what it's missing. It's got to be something that uh, some people have been complaining about. Well, there is breeding. Um, I wish there was breeding. Unless they're talking about like something else. Despite the game's continued popularity. Um, I don't think they're going to be talking about the... It could be talking about the remote raids too. Which is a, a great addition to the game. But they took that... Or they're closely trying to take that away. Niantic is regularly under fire for making changes that hinder players' enjoyment. Of course, the faithful April 6th is, has been on the dial, downward spiral for, of course, Niantic, Nerfantic. It's been there. It's been like that. When the COVID, uh, when the COVID-19 pandemic hit. The company was forced to adapt to the quarantine and shutdowns. In response to its players, Nerfantic released a number of much needed changes to the game to help with players no longer being able to venture outside. So this is why they created, uh, they expanded the radius, they expand, uh, they made a uh, Remote raids available. This is why the creation of remote raids were created. And it's too late to take them away. But they slowly are trying to take them away by limiting your uh, uses of them. Even though people still use uh, remote raid passes. They don't. The thing is they can't use as much because they hit that limit. This included shortening the interaction distance of Pokestops and gyms. Oh. Uh, even uh, increasing Poke, uh, Poke spawn rates regularly and through incense. So they improved everything, made it more easier uh, if you're staying at home. If you had to work from home and you could just play there and just catch Pokemon, use incense, get, uh, if you have a Poke stop, you can spin every five minutes. Pretty easy life, made life easier and, and improved, I guess, the quality of life. Then uh, Niantic, not improved, I think it made it more easier to play the game, um, made it easier to play the game during those times. Then Nerfantic began to revert some of these improvements like nerfing the, uh, the effectiveness of incense. So that was the first step that started it. Uh, then the last one was, of course, remote raids. Remote raids were the last thing that they did it was then of course the the next step would probably have been the radius some of these uh, updates were always intended to be temporary such as the weekly discounted remote raid pass uh, passes however these changes made uh, the game much more accessible accessible 
to players, and so many wanted to see uh, them stay, like uh, remote raids and radius. The radius, uh, which has made it more easier to interact with the farther farther away Pokestop than usual, that would have been it made it more easier and better for for players. But they reduce that, and they also reduce, of course, remote raids when, of course, you. Or living in a remote area, using remote raids is the better option than using prim, uh, premium raids. So they first increased them, and no, I, they didn't first increase them, but they just literally nerfed the, the all of it in one go. <coughs> and it says right there, they were not meant to be temporary. There are those fixes, those updates. That improve the quality of the game. We're not supposed to be there for that long. The only way the party would have been staying for that long is if the pandemic kept going for like so many years, which nobody wanted. A former employee uh, alleges in a uh, glass door review of the company that several small quality of light changes that they proposed that they did not need any significant output were rejected by their product manager. They didn't even, I don't even know if it went all the way to Mr. Hankey, John Hankey. They went to the product manager and he rejected them. That's not, I wonder what these were though, the thing. Uh, the uh, revelation comes from a former client engineer who worked on the game for more than a year, who went on to say that this uh, rejection was not because the idea ideas were bad or harmful to Nerfantic's profit, but instead ha based on a Phil uh, Glassdoor is a website where current and former employees can anonymously leave reviews for companies. So if you want to... Say like, oh well, my company did this. You can go to, you can go there and say, well, this company did this, and you won't have, you're not, you won't be liable for anything. I mean, uh, I don't know if it if it affects not NDAs, which are non-disclosure agreements. But um, yeah. The silver lining in the review is that the company is an excellent, is an excellent place to work for someone. Um, uh, someone is a fan of Pokemon because the kind of kind and helpful people working there they end, ended on the note that Neant Nerfantic should do better to avoid losing the favor of the Pokemon Go community so you know, those who love the game would be a, uh, this company would have been great to join especially the side of Pokemon Go this review may not come as a surprise for a former uh, for a number of players. There's a common uh, sentiment in the community that Nerfantic does not know what its player base wants. One common issue is the continuous lack of communication regarding uh, changes to the game with just this week. Uh, fans uh, noticing that Nerfantic mis uh, raised the prices of Pokecoins. Players were, for the most part, less upset uh, about the increase in cost than the fact that it came without any warning. Wow, so they have increased Poke, Poke coins. I don't know how much. <laughs> Damn. So not only did they increase remote raid passes, they increased. And then, uh, I, I would assume why, is because... And we're all struggling with inflation, especially in the States. So they are uh, an American-based company. They have to uh, go and s coincide with inflation and start raising prices like every er everywhere else is, especially since they live in California where the, they have the highest tax rate. That's the highest tax. One of, the, one of them, one of the highest or could be the highest tax state in the nation. While while um, micro transactions in a free to play game are to be expected, many fans agree that 
the rampant uh, monetization while taking away features that players have come to enjoy is a bad look. However, there may be some hope on the horizon for the game's future as a recent leak indicates a new feature coming, Party Play. Probably like the best feature that they added since raids could be. Um, I saw some of it. I saw some, a little bit of it. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I got to see how it actually works. Hopefully some of these uh, news companies actually do follow up on and study what this feature is. I'm not very excited for every feature that uh, Nerfantic and Pokemon Go decide to play, put into the game, like routes. Like, even though, like, in the main series games, they had routes. They had, like, Route 1, Route 2, Route 3, and that's pretty cool. Uh, and they implemented that for maybe that reason to have that feel of, oh, look, we're in Route 1 or Route 2 or Route this. Pretty cool but, uh, concept, but I, I'm not a fan of it. Um, Showcase is another, another one, which I'm not a fan of either. It's not a great improvement, not great features for this year. You could be, I could be wrong, and um, you maybe you enjoy these uh, uh, route, you enjoy routes, and you enjoy, you enjoy um, with the other features, uh, showcases. See, uh, I don't, don't remember them because they're not uh, very important to me. Uh, this is okay. Which so party play is which uh, would allow fans of the game to play with. They're friends. This is what party play is. Uh, it, it, which, uh, party play is which would allow... This would allow uh, fans of the game to play with their friends while there is no release date yet. Um, some players hope that this is a sign of Nerfantic wanting to support the game in the long term. It's probably because it's their only successful game. The only game that they have success in. It's because it's built by a fan base. A fan base that enjoyed the name of the word Pokemon. Uh, it's been there for... Uh, it's a franchise. It's a big franchise. One of the biggest franchises. Um, that can rival any franchise. Um, Nintendo is a franchise that can rival any franchise. Any company like a Disney. Like every, everywhere else. So... This is why they have it, and this is why it's a, it's a success for them. But if they don't improve the the quality that uh, that people enjoy about the game, or not enjoy but the game, but make the, it better for people, then they're gonna lose people. Supposedly, this is gonna be the next thing, the next thing that will help Nerfantic grow. Uh, the last time. Uh, the most well, the most important feature that they added this year was the 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 ready button, of course, and also the ability to see how many people are in the raid, which the only two cool things. But the most important thing that they added since since Pokemon Go came out is was the raid system. It got a lot of people playing. I have not seen something. I have not seen a feature in the game that has surpassed that excellent of a of a of a feature something that that made made which made more people maybe come back or maybe people enjoy the game that's me though to me that's like the most important feature that they added and the most exciting feature that they added and then the the twist is that they added shinies and they are improving the raids every single step of the way which is the most important thing is not only introduce them but also improve on their uh, their longevity so make not make them like a like long but like make them uh, better make them better every single year and it seems like they're doing that um, if you heard if you heard uh, Nerfantic had decided uh, that there will some of the raids that are like easier to do or like not done a lot, uh, uh, they'll be shortened. Uh, the time limit will be shortened. Um, so I don't think the raid will be shortened. I, I forgot what it was about. Is it either the the time to start the raid would be shorter? 
uh, or some something something around the long uh, around that line. It's going to be shorter to do some of these raids. So they're improving the raids. Isn't something that they have brought in that made the game even more better, more funner to do. With their also with introducing like like I said shinies into those raids easier. Like the raid system probably like is the easier to way to get to get shinies. It's the one of the easiest way to get shiny Pokemon. It's one of the outside of community. It is the one of the easiest ones. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notification. Uh, put your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Um, have they destroyed the quality of life, or maybe they should improve the quality of life in this game? Improve the longevity, the long term uh, of the game. What What are your thoughts, guys? I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. I'm only going to upload every few videos throughout the week. Last week I was sick. So if you're interested, guys, like I said, smash that like button. And also, if you're interested, you can always come into my Discord. I will leave a link to my Discord. I'm, all, I'm usually almost there all the time. But. Uh, I do sell uh, cheap Poke coins, guys. If you're interested, you come in, click the link in the description. Always going to be there in the description. You can always read the article yourself. Maybe I didn't read it right. Maybe I uh, interpreted it wrong. Maybe you want to read it yourself. You can always click the link. I'll always leave a link there. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoy this. Hope you uh, found this interesting. Uh, if you didn't, you can always... Leave a comment there too. You don't have to always leave a bad or a good comment. You can leave whatever comment you want. Thank you. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace out. Peace out.